You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. It's a rock. You need people like me. You need people like me so you can point your finger. Well, I was very I say, inspired That's the bad guy. Um, by him. So? What I make you? Freedom. So you still got that dog in you? Turn nothing to something. Sometimes you gotta get it right. Turn nothing to something. Sometimes you gotta get it right. The thing I want you all to understand and know about me is I've been walking blind my whole life. I've been walking in the blessings. I've been walking in the situations where it's like, how did you come out of that alive? You don't look like what you've been through. And it's because the evidence of faith is in the things that are unseen, not the things that you actually see. Traveling really does, uh, does something to me. It's like this peace that I have. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the comfort of the, the vehicle that's not mine. I'm in the city that I don't live in. I'm just chilling. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the luxury that we have right now, I never want to take it for granted. No. You know what I'm saying? I, I was just telling Ashley the same thing. I'm like, yeah, she's, like she's like, how are you doing it? I'm like, because I can work from anywhere. Right. Like, that was such a luxury to be able to come out here today, work eight hours, still right. do the cool stuff, and, like, right. do this right now. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I could be stressed out real quick, but I have to remember peace is my portion and that I'm developing my capacity and my depth right now because, as I told you earlier, every man must search the depth of his own soul every day. And I'm being challenge every day to outlast and outrun, but not outrun the situation in terms of avoiding it, but like don't stop running because that's how you outlast it. Right? Like I'm on a mission and a, a, a journey to inspire and impact the world so that I can one day receive a Nobel Peace Prize. Now that there, there's no 100% guarantee that I will ever receive a Nobel Peace Prize, but I'm on a blind walk, and I know there's a lot of alligators and sharks and things that I'm going to have to go through, which I would consider to be, in you all's terms, opposition, adversity, right? And am I going to look at it and panic, or am I going to wait and respond, right? Because 10% of life is what happened. 90% is how you responded to it. The day that you plant the seed is not the day that you receive the harvest. As a matter of fact, that's the first day you made the investment. So it's kind of like going to the bank and depositing, you know, said amount of money and then not going to the bank tomorrow and taking out said amount of money, right? And what you do over time is you leave that initial investment in there, let it grow, and then you come back to it once it's 10x, not once it's received its first harvest, I pick it all up, take it all out, and I spend it all, because guess what? Now you've chewed your own seed, and you've played yourself. So in this process of development and growth, be patient with self, be honest and transparent with self, but also be willing to be vulnerable with other people. Um, you know, and so I think that process of planting every day versus reaping a harvest mindset, you know, you, you stay, in the process versus getting fixated on the uh, the promise. Um, and so, you know, I think a lot of times we want to pluck up what we've planted the moment we put it down in the ground, but we got to leave it there for a little while before we can pick it up. I learned that my vulnerability is where my value is, right? And me sharing and giving and, 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 and inspiring people, you know, with speaking, right? And, and with sharing through teaching, with sharing through the research that I'm doing, right? So I'm, I'm vulnerable because everything that I do revolves around me giving back to other people. And at this season and in this space, in this place in my life, right? Like I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a speaker, I'm all these things. But at the end of the day, right? Like I'm still a man. I still struggle. I still have parts of me that are broken, that need healing, and I'm willing to do the work 
I'm willing to put the time in for the inner me as opposed to the outer me and the football me, right, at this place and this place in my life. So um, I would definitely say vulnerability is where my value is now. Yeah, got me thinking about my whole life. I'm blessed, and I ain't gotta say it twice. I gotta go, but nowadays coming with a price. And best believe I ain't gonna knock this bitch without a fight. I got a wall in my shit coming all white. Mm -hmm. I wanna fall. Uh, so I'm really, really grateful now that once we went, I jumped ahead, but once we went down there and listened to you and, and to uh, your other teammates that were there, mm -hmm. that really stoked the fire. Mm -hmm. It really stoked the fire in them. Um, and, and me too, and we thought, all right, you know, let's do, let's keep rolling, yeah. um, let's make this happen, and and I'm very thankful um, to the Lord first of all, He yeah. provided, yeah. and to you and Thank the you. message of, of all the people down there yeah. at yeah. Clemson, they were very positive, very positive, very positive, yeah. very happy. We had our uh, our our tight men of mm -hmm. diversity mm -hmm. uh, polos and. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. We got them really made really quickly. Thank, thank, thankfully for the, thankful to the our bookstore here. These mm -hmm. are the bookstore getting it done. Most people in your situation, they're normally dead or they're left paralyzed for the rest of their life. I'm here to tell you that's not your conclusion. But what is your current circumstance and condition is you do have a broken neck from vertebrae C5 to vertebrae C7, the base of your neck, right? And What's going to happen is over the next six months to 12 months, there is no football, there is no driving, really there is no anything, right? So you need some time to allow your body to process what happened. But he never mentioned anything about my mental, right? In my mental state, it was all about the physical nature of my being, right? Like, man, thank God you were 6'4", 270 pounds, because the average man would have died. It's like, that doesn't really help me mentally, right? Like, that doesn't really make me feel better. But perspective is not always something that feels good, right? And so for me, in that moment, I turned to my left, and my older brother, who's 11 and a half years older than me, who's an Omega Sci Fi uh, walk on graduate at HBCU called South Carolina State in Orangeburg, South Carolina, he said to me these exact words Do you still got that dog in you? And my response, was you already know what time it is. Yes, I do. And I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm laid out. Like, I can't fight, I can't do nothing, but I still had that dog in me. It might not have been on me. I might not have been able to get up and to fight somebody, but guess what? When I did build the strength back up, oh, I'm going to fight. Because guess what? It's in my nature. It's in my blood. And I'm not going to lay down. But guess what? In this sitch, I had to lay down. And so the reality of it is, and what I want you all to take from this story and me sharing this with you, life throws you a bad hand. Mike Tyson, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love his craziness, right? His antics, because he says something so profound when he said, life punch you in the face, or, or excuse me, we all have a plan until life knocks us out or punches, you know, punches us in the face and, and you know, redirects us, right? And so in that moment, when opposition and adversity was in front of me, how did I respond? After more than a year of rehab, Jurgen was still in pain. He attempted a return in 2018, but the ferocity and explosiveness that had once made him a prized prospect were gone. He remained with the Tigers as a student coach, supporting his teammates and celebrating a national championship. Clemson will win its third national championship in college football. He'd come to terms that his playing days were done. But then, a neck fusion surgery in his home state of Florida offered him a second chance. I told him straight up, Richard, this is your decision. If you want to play, you play. If you don't play, I'm good with that. But I know in his own mind's eye that if he did not go through with this completely, that he would have regrets. I honestly was conflicted. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get anybody interested to want to take a chance, you know, after such a traumatic event. You know, having gone through surgery and not having played in two years, I just put my name in the portal. Turn nothing to something. 
Sometimes you gotta get it right Turn nothing to something